Will, what a day, uh, just sum up your emotions. Ah, uh, so surreal. I, I've been waiting for the opportunity for so long. I've been, I've been at the club since I was five years old, so I've come all the way through. And it's just, I can't even explain, obviously, to get the goal as well. Oh, I can't, words can't describe it, really. I bet you couldn't have dreamt it to have gone any better there, really. No, obviously, I found out I was starting yesterday, and obviously we travelled down yesterday and stayed over and it was, to be fair I wasn't I wasn't that nervous really but then obviously coming to the stadium it sort of gets real and you get them butterflies but uh, I think I took the opportunity well and then hopefully I can kick on from here and see what happens next season. Any pre-match thoughts how high up was a goal on that agenda? <laughs> I didn't even cross my mind all I was thinking about was keeping the clean sheet and doing my best for the team but obviously to get the goal it's it's icing on the cake, really. It was a great finish as well, to be fair, wasn't it? Exactly. I mean, you took it like a seasoned striker. I mean, was it just concentrating on making sure you got a clean connection on the ball? Yeah, to be honest, it, the first corner got sort of blocked and then it was up and around me and I was just trying to sort of hook it back in and then hopefully someone gets on the end of it, but obviously it's it's gone in. So, yeah, the lads the lads were great as well. So around, like, supporting me and getting around me. Uh, it was unbelievable. You're obviously a big Stoke City fan, and I know your family are a big Stoke City fan, so I suppose that's the only disappointment that they aren't here there to, here to, to share that moment with you. Yeah, obviously it's obviously we don't have fans in, but obviously all my family, friends will, will watch the game, so it's just, I can't describe it really, it's just unbelievable. It must be extra special that it's been part of and a great performance and a great win. Yeah, obviously to keep the clean sheet as well, and then obviously Bournemouth have got the playoffs, so it's obviously not their confidence really it's obviously the icing on the cake but nah, I thought the lads were brilliant really I thought we created hardly anything and then we probably could have scored a few more goals How much did the likes of Danny Bart and Johnny B. McKell help you through the game? Oh massively it's the experience that they have obviously John's played at the top top level and then to have Danny next to me always talking to me telling me to check my shoulders open up yeah, it's just a massive help really as pleased as you are to get a goal, I suppose you take as much satisfaction from the fact that you kept a clean sheet. Yeah, obviously that's that's the first thing a defender thinks about. Like, obviously, you don't think about scoring, but nah, to keep the clean sheet, I thought we defended very well as, as a team, really. The shape we were in, like we were banked up, I thought it was good. They limited them to nothing, really. So, yeah, it was a great performance. Until recently you've been out injured, has it maybe been a bit frustrating maybe seeing some of your fellow under-23s players get an opportunity and you, and you finally get one now? Uh, it sort of is and it isn't because obviously I want the boys to do well as much as me so obviously when they've, I've seen them coming out I'm buzzing for them but it sort of, sort of is frustrating though when you're injured and you could have been there but obviously everyone's on a different path so obviously I've got my chance today and then hopefully I can kick on. Given how this season's ended for yourself, I bet you can't wait for next season now. Yeah, literally. I've still obviously got the playoffs to look forward to with the 23s. And hopefully we get promoted, which I think we deserve. And then obviously enjoy some time off and then kick on next season. I've spoken previously that maybe some of the under-23 players may need to go out on loan next season, but do you feel off the back of today in particular that you're ready to fight for a first-team spot next season? I feel like I, I, I need a loan. Obviously, I was... My plan was to go on loan this season, but obviously that didn't happen. So I've been in and around it all season and just waiting for my chance. And obviously I'm grateful for the gaffer to give me the chance. And then who knows, we'll see next season.